Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again giving you the end game update for the Leap Quake build, I guess we'll call it, which uh, largely revolves around Leap Slamming for map clear and general trash clear, and then Earthquaking for the bigger, uh, heavier hits, and especially Vile Earthquake for uh, Legions and the really big bosses. So, for pure end game and actual uh, single target, it was kind of ridiculous. Like, these hits are so far big and chunky that a lot of the bosses might just get straight up deleted uh, before they do anything. Um, just like actually 50% hits, that type of big chunky damage. Really depends if things line up well, if you get a good shock on the enemies, and if you have some ruthless procs going as well. Because for actual endgame, I was subbing out Pulverized Gem for Ruthless Gem, and uh, that's basically the entire single target setup. Just a quick little Pulverize for Ruthless Swap, which isn't strictly necessary, but does give you much bigger damage and bigger spikes as well. For general trash clear though, you could see uh, I was doing my deepest delves, managed to get up to depth 400, did a few tough uh, cities, did a more vile boss, and it's all pretty smooth sailing. Can take a few hits here or there, even though we're rolling Abyssus, because I do have a bit of uh, armor passives on the tree. Got those three minimum endurance charges, fortifies up almost all of the time. So for the most part, we're not that squishy with the Abyssus. It just depends on the situations you get yourself into with certain legions, if you're going to take on like five or six rares all at once without your cooldowns up, then yeah, sure, you can get some um, hairy situations happening, and that will be thanks to the Lord Abyssus himself. But it's not too common, and uh, also I'm not even sure the damage on Abyssus here is necessary, since I do end up having quite an overkill of damage, uh, up to the point where just the five way is the only thing that I really could have used more damage on, but um, it's not going to be terrific, for five-way action either way because Brain Rattler is just a little bit too slow on the Leap Slam, I believe. Uh, so if you really wanted to min-max a big old Earthquake, see that boss just de get deleted? Nice. If you wanted to get a real min-max on an Earthquake, you probably want a real weapon, something like a Fortify Staff that has some good attack speed roll to it. Uh, that's probably going to get you a lot further than a Brain Rattler ever will. And uh, it's just something to look out for. This is one version of the build, the, or of an Earthquake build you might want to look into. But you can definitely make your own. You can go pure fears. You can convert with some cold. You can do all kinds of shit with Earthquake. And I do just want you guys to look out for some Earthquake action. Um, because Vile Earthquake is such a nice tool to use against a lot of these bosses and situations, uh, Legion situations, that it's maybe something you could incorporate into builds where you're not even playing Earthquake, just have a nice little 4-link Vile Earthquake, and um, it'll help a lot in the tougher situations. And also the Slayer Cull gets pretty damn juicy for a lot of this too. You can see every now and again that uh, bosses just go from like 50% to zero, that might only be because I go a 30% hit, but then the last 20 kicks in as well, and it just deletes one of these bosses. So it's pretty much a wrap for the character. I did end up doing a couple of five ways, like four Uber Elders, quite a lot of endgame. A lot of it's very smooth, got to 93 or 94. Uh, just could have used a faster weapon, really. Brain Rattler, it's not bad, and uh, it's, you know, viable these days, but I don't think it should be your number one choice when going for a big old earthquake build. But I'll leave you guys with the Uber Elder and then the five way battle. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. I think I'm canceling as well. Yeah, that's happening a few times. And I'm canceling my earthquake. Like I'm trying to move too quickly. Look at how fucking long it takes him to do that! <laughs> Alright, so 30% slower on so much shit, and don't cancel Earthquake. Two things to remember. Like, this phase here takes so much fucking longer. 
to 30% slower. Is he still shocked? Surely not, right? I think he was. <laughs> oh god, I might get slapped by a spear. No, okay. Oh god, slaps. The slaps seem slower, couldn't tell. Much cleaner run, but yeah, holy shit, that's um, something to get used to. Brain right there, man. 30% slower cast speed. Turns out just about everything a boss ever does is a cast. Loot is horrible. That is bad as it gets. So we, I think this time around for this I can put War Chief on too. I could just do that, hit E, and then Vile War Chief. Oh my god, that's slow. Okay. So ruthless procs do matter here. Hmm, looks like I still need to actually earthquake. Can't get away with just leap slam for this shit. Fucked up, I wasn't using um, blood stance. See, that's much nicer now. Yeah, can you quit being a dweeb? Okay, I think we're more in the zone. was that? I got mega shocked and slowed at the same time. Shit, I'm not even affected by shock, so it shouldn't matter. Fucking impulsive, right? Okay, I think it's really good. Just need to probably refine my strategy or my playstyle. The damage is good. Just need to figure out exactly how I want to play it. 
when I want to pop my cooldowns, on who I want to pop certain cooldowns, how long I want to spend on certain dudes. If I want to use certain support gems. The playstyle's good, the damage is good. Maybe I don't want a war chief at all, ever. I think I'm still accidentally pressing it. Because I should have a Vile wake up for just about everything. But I don't. So yeah, maybe we get rid of Vile war chief. The bars. <laughs> Fuck, dude, diary. Oh, I didn't respawn this yet. Guns are lethal too. How good are those stuns? Don't think I can proc anything else. Just clean up the rest of the trash. They get two and a half bars. Yeah, that's not the best. Should be able to get at least three, I think. But that's the most damage I've had, I reckon, against those guys. I'm reliably killing him in a couple of seconds. With the right prep. Not use Shockwave? No, I think we're sticking to Shockwave. Not getting rid of that. Five two five eight something. Cool. 